My mom passed away about a year and a half ago. When you lose a parent, you think a lot about that person's life and death. And as the child of that parent, in invariably you think about your own mortality. It was a sad time and that married with this idea of life out of order uh, became Mary Page Marlowe. Mary Page, I, I, I've said it before, I will continue to say it often, Mary Page is not my mother. My mom's death inspired this writing in some ways and so there are elements taken from her life but Mary Page makes a lot of missteps that my mother did not make, thank God. For some people, life feels like a continuum, and for me, it doesn't always. For me, I think back to uh, younger versions of myself, and they seem times like strangers. I wanted to write a play that felt like that. In a weird way, the exercise is, what if you had to choose the 11 scenes from your life that you thought best represented you? that if you wanted to tell somebody the story of your life, what 11 scenes would you select? You're gonna select mostly the big, happy transitions in your life. But somebody else may say, well, that's not a very complete picture. I, I'm gonna show you a more complete picture of yourself by mixing happy moments with sad moments with mundane moments uh, from different periods of your life, and that's gonna construct a picture of you. I was several weeks in a rehearsal here when I turned to Anna and said, uh, my love for this character is in every scene. Even in the scenes that don't show her at her best, my love for her is in every scene. Because I think, ideally, if you do this right, it, she becomes a kind of mirror for the audience as well. They see something of themselves in her and so, that's part of what we do, hopefully. Ideally, in the theater, we give people an opportunity to, to look at themselves. And I think in the case of Mary Page Marlowe, we give them an opportunity to look at themselves with love and forgiveness.